Hello everybody. Uh, 안녕하세요. Hola. Como esta? Um, what else do I have? A lot of different greetings I should probably say. Anyway, um, I apologize. This is kind of a late Q&A answer video, but uh, I was on a road trip from Michigan for four days. I came back to LA for a day, two days, did uh, Criminal Minds preparation. And then I had to fly to Korea for three days of work straight. And then I just got back last night from Korea. And this morning I had Criminal Minds camera tests. So it's been very busy, but um, we're here. We're ready to answer some of your questions. And uh, I have a whole list of questions that I've kind of chose some good ones from. Uh, there was so many good questions. Thank you so much. And um, let's get started. Add action. Okay. Uh, the first question I chose was from Erica Diaz. Erica, hi Erica. Thank you for your question. And she said, um, what is the best decision you've made in your life? And that was easy for me because uh, the best decision I made was to do uh, Samsung, Lerim Kim Samsung, the drama in Korea in 2004, five, geez. You know, I was working for a long time in, um, in New York, uh, doing theater and trying to get better as an actor, and I was struggling with opportunities, and um, when I had the chance to do the drama in Korea, it was kind of a no-brainer, but it's still a big decision, so, you know, I think when you have chances in life to, to, to work, um, and you're, you're confronted with uh, difficult decisions, I think you have to go with your gut, and I did, and that decision got me to where I am today, uh, without a doubt. So that started a roller coaster for me that has been my life. And uh, so absolutely the best decision of my life. Okay, the next question is from Hiromi. Hiromi-san. 안녕하세요, Hiromi. 잘 지내죠? 오랜만. 질문 주셔서 너무 감사해요. Okay. She said, 앞으로 도전하고 싶은 일. 이름. Which means uh, what you want to challenge yourself with in the future, work-wise. And uh, next week I start Criminal Minds Beyond Borders. Uh, I play Matt Simmons, and uh, it's a big challenge for me to, um, you know, as an Asian Asian American Asian actor, to um, put forth a strong performance, uh, to lead the show. And to, uh, you know, I've always wanted a chance like this, and CBS has given me this opportunity. They put a lot of faith in me, and it's going to be a great show. So that is my challenge. My challenge is to show them that, uh, you know, this, this team, the people they've casted, have what it takes. So it's a big challenge, but we're going to do it. Okay, the next question is from Don Lee Tu. I think her name is Don Lee Tu. I'm not sure how Nelson. Um, she asks, uh, what is my jet lag remedy uh, and jet lag stories? Let's see. Um, jet lag remedy for me, it is to, uh, as soon as I land, is to acclimate to the country's time zone. You get really tired and you have to make sure that you don't allow your mind to think that you're tired. Uh, because a lot of times I'll fly to Korea or Asia and I have to go right to my shoot. I have to work all day. I don't have time to rest. So, drink a lot of water. I go right to the gym, not for vanity purposes, but for just to get my mind, my, my body flowing, the blood flowing. It's very important. Um, I get some sunlight. Uh, I try to get out in the sun on breaks and just to get some sunlight to, to help acclimate. Um, coffee is uh, a good friend of mine at times. I have a lot of times when I wake up, I don't know where I am. You know, I just, I was telling my, my friend today, when I was in, I was in Korea this last time, I would wake up in the middle of the night because I travel so much and I, I, I literally do not know where I am for 15 to 20 seconds, which is <laughs> kind of scary. So I wake up and just, That's just a normal day for me. So, um, that's my jet lag story. Sorry, it's not better. Your face 
your sunny, funny face for your Okay, the next question is from Ellie, I believe, and I, I don't know if I have this wrong because I can't read my own hand, right? I think she's asking me what is on my phone. Um, yeah. Mango, that's, my, that's Mango with the Clippers hat on, my favorite basketball team, who I was very disappointed in this last season. But we made some good off-season acquisitions and we should be good this coming season. Though you're no Mona Lisa, for worlds i have not Alright, <laughs> Uh, next question is from Grace. Um, hi, Grace. She asks, if I could have coffee with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? The answer could change um, from one day to another. But um, I think, let's see. Audrey Hepburn? Yeah, that seems right for today's answer. Uh, I've loved her for a long time. She's just one of my favorite actresses of all time. She, um, I don't know, she personifies elegance and grace and beauty and class, intelligence, uh, talent, and um, she's amazing. So I feel like I'd have a lot of questions for her and uh, I have a huge crush on her, um, a little bit late, but um, I'd love to sit down and have some coffee or champagne with her like, um, like Roman Holiday. Um, but she'd be awesome to sit down with. Okay, next question is from Kim. Hello, Kim, how are you? Uh, she asks, uh, do I have any advice for someone that is trying to break into the acting industry or acting business? Um, my advice is to um, be persistent, to be strong, to have thick skin, and by saying that I mean to understand that people are gonna tell you no a lot. You have to audition, you have to try hard, and a lot of times you don't get the part you want. Um, every single part that I've gotten, I've fought for, and probably for every five parts I've gotten, probably 30 parts I've, people have said no to me. Um, so, you have to learn that it's not personal. Um, you know, I used to, if I was turned down for a part, I would spend a week thinking about it, but I don't do that anymore. Um, yeah, you just have to learn to be tough and be good at what you do. So a lot of people spend a lot of time complaining about how they don't get opportunities, but then they do and they don't bring it. They don't bring the stuff, but you have to. You have to be ready for that opportunity when it comes. So be good at what you do and be persistent and be strong. Okay, next question is from Aurora. Aurora, I like that name. She's asked me what my, uh, my fears or phobias are and also what kind of woman I would like to marry. Hmm. Fears and phobias. Uh, not a lot of fears and phobias. I don't like flying very much, which is kind of ironic because I fly a lot. So I don't have a fear of flying, I just dislike it. And also I, I kind of have a little bit of claustrophobia. So I don't like closed spaces. I don't like to be confined. So that kind of goes hand in hand. So I've had some issues in the past with it, but it's nothing severe. Um, I think a lot of actors, because they fly and travel so much, they get that fear of flying. You kind of feel like you fly so much that one of these times something bad is going to happen. Knock on wood that it won't, but uh, that's my only fear. And Aurora is also asking me what kind of woman I would like to marry. Um, I would like to marry someone who is, is simple and who is comfortable in their own skin, uh, good sense of humor loves the finer things in life, but also likes super simple things like spending a Sunday on the couch watching movies or sports or, um, you know, silly TV shows. Uh, someone that I could, you know, could enjoy Michigan with me as much as they enjoy Los Angeles or New York, countryside in the city, likes to travel. And his understanding of my job, uh, as the husband would have to be about his wife's job. I mean, you have to understand each other, it's 50-50. So, you know, as an actor, I, I have to travel a lot. My schedule is pretty demanding, so it can be tough uh, in relationships. So I think overall, just someone who is um, laid back, yeah, with a good sense of humor. Okay, the next question is from fashion designer Ray. Hello. Um, and they're asking, can you tell Oh, can you fall in love with someone from a different culture? 
Um, of course, absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, my past relationships have been, I think, good. I dated American girls when I was here in high school and things, um, but uh, dated girls from different cultures. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, what matters is the connection and understanding each other um, and the willingness to take the time to explore each other's cultures and to be accepting and to sacrifice and to understand. You have to communicate. That's the most important thing. The connection is here. And it really doesn't have as much to do with your faith or things like that, I don't think. I don't believe it personally. Some people do, but that's just my opinion. Thanks for the question. Okay, the next question um, was from a lot of people, uh, uh, so I thought I should just answer it. They're asking about Tadashi and um, <clears throat> what it was like to play him and would I be interested in doing a sequel and stuff like that. The answer is, uh, yeah, of course I would be interested in doing a sequel. I think. Um, such an amazing movie, and to be a part of it was such an honor. He um, he was he became such a huge part of my life, especially last year and this year. And the fans embraced him so much for even the fact that he wasn't in the movie that long. They they just loved him, and the support was incredible. He's such a pure, amazing soul of a character, and um, it may, he made me much better as as a man, as a person. I learned a lot from playing him, and just working with Disney. What an experience. I never thought in my life I'd have that chance, and the fact that I have is, um, it's hard to describe, so. He helps me every day, I, you know, shake things up, look for new angles. Um, he's always there in the back of my mind, so uh, I'm very proud to have, uh, have played Tadashi, and uh, I hope uh, I make it to play him again someday. Okay, the next question is from uh, Jenny Love, 1002, right? Um, she says, "Yang uh, Jung-hye, 가장 중요하게 생각하는 것," which means, uh, "What do you think is the most important thing when you go on a vacation?" And that's easy for me. I think it's just to have fun. Make sure you have fun. Have a good plan, but have fun. Be with good people, and uh, enjoy each and every moment. So cheesy, but true. Right. So the next question is from Sunny. 88 Joe, Sunny 88 Joe, and they're asking, uh, how do you overcome homesickness? Well, I don't think you can. I think you can't overcome it. You're on, if you're homesick, you're homesick. It's time. I miss home sometimes. I'm sure you all do. But um, the only advice I can give you is that when you have the moments with the people you love, with your family, with your dog, your cat, um, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, grandmother, grandfather, everyone, when you have the moments together, um, you value those moments. You spend time and really, really just squeeze every bit of, of time and, and, and juice out of those moments because they, they mean a lot. Uh, don't let the time pass by without, you know, take a breath and say, oh, I, I want to remember this moment. Um, some days I'll fly over to Korea <clears throat> and before I start working I'll have just a, a few hours to hang out with friends before I start working and I have to remember that these are important and I'm going to, I'm going to remember these moments and uh, with my family too uh, to make sure that you know spending time and sit down and have conversations with your parents and just treasure that so yeah the next question is from I'll spell it, it's J-O-B-E-V-V-Y. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that, so I don't want to try. They're asking, uh, what kind of roles catch my eye, especially comedically, uh, when I'm choosing for work, I guess. Um, obviously well-written. I, I tend to gravitate towards some of the more bad guy roles in the States. I, I, I don't know, it's more fun to play. So when it comes to comedy, I kind of like, um, uh, I think it's fun when the, when the character is a little more uh, drier, uh, sarcastic. Um, if you watch, uh, I did a movie called Shanghai Calling. I liked Sam's dry wit, humor, and he was just kind of a jerk. And, and, and he you know, wasn't a bad person, but I think it's fun to play that role, to play the kind of snarky, jerky type role. Um, because it's different than who I am in real life, so, for the most part. 
But uh, yeah, I like that. I like to see stories where the character, you know, starts in one place and ends up in a much better place. Um, they go through obstacles, through a gauntlet, and they come out a better person, which Sam did. Um, so I definitely like to see the character arc. Uh, it's very important to me that they're not just the same person the whole time. Um, and I like to see films where directors allow actors to improvise and ad lib. So, you know, I like to watch like, you know, actors like Vince Vaughn, comedic actors, Ben Stiller, where those guys, you can tell a lot of it's ad lib and they're really good at what they do. Um, so that's kind of what I, I lean towards. So I hope that kind of answers your question. Okay, this next question. Um, why am I sitting like this? I'm, like a pro I'm not an English professor. <laughs> the next question is from Juliet. Beautiful name. Hi, Juliet. And she asks, why did you take the road trip? The reason I took the road trip is because it was a birthday gift for Mango. <laughs> I know that sounds really silly, but um, she's the best dog in the world. She's been with me through everything. She's helped me through tough times. She's always been there. So um, she turned 11 years old in June 4th. And I've always wanted her to see my, my home, my hometown, Michigan, to run, you know, by my lake house, to swim in the water, to meet my family dog, Murphy, and hang out with my parents, and go on the boats, and, you know, just experience Michigan life. Um, it's very different than LA, and uh, so it was my gift to her. I promised myself that I would take her because she's been such a wonderful dog. So, and she had the greatest time. She loved Murphy, our family dog. She loved my mom and dad. We have a, a lake house, a cottage, and she just fit right in. So, to see her reaction to things was really special to me. Um, there was moments when she would just sit by the lake and stare at the lake. And She'd never seen anything like that before, and uh, that was special to me. I think it's important to, even if it's with a pet, a dog or a cat, or you know, to share moments and to enjoy life like that. So it was, it was a great time. And, um, the road trip was fun. Just seeing her in the back of the car in different states, Colorado and Utah and Nebraska. And, you know, every time she'd get out of the car, she'd smell the air. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty cheesy and like that. I, was, I thought it was pretty. Okay guys, that's it. I'm sorry if I couldn't get to yours. There were some amazing questions. It's very difficult to choose. Uh, I love you all, especially the ones who always support me. You know who you are. Love you guys. Thank you. See you next time. Thanks for your support. Come tell me about.